guys, this is what's going to happen on your self-improvement journey as a man. And I do say as a man because even though we have shared experiences, as a man, our journey is a little bit different than that from the women. So this is what's going to happen on your self-improvement journey as a man. Or, as some people like to call it, waking up from the matrix. Because in essence, those two things are the same. Those two things are the same. Because if you live the lies that the world tells you, if you live in those lies and you just accept those lies and you accept that way of living, you're never going to be able to self-improve yourself. And people are going to say, oh, here goes another Andrew Tate. That's what I had put in one of the comments on one of my more recent videos. Here goes another Andrew Tate self-improvement guru. Guys, the reason I make these videos is because I've been there. I've been in all these situations that I've talked about. And I wish I would have never fucking been there. I wish I would have had somebody to mentor me through it. I wish I would have had that knowledge. But I didn't. And I wish I would have never had to go through that stuff. I've been fucked up. I've been on drugs. I've been disillusioned. I've been depressed, anxious, alone. I've been at the brink of insanity. That's what living in these lies that we're told brought me to. It brought me to the brink of insanity. It brought me to using drugs every day to try and combat those thoughts because I'm had, having this internal conflict where I don't know what to believe or who to believe and I'm finding out the world that I once thought I lived in is now an illusion. And that was enough to drive me to the brink of fucking insanity because I thought I was the only one. That was enough to get me to use drugs every day. That was enough to have me fucking my self-confidence all messed up. That was enough to have my self-worth all messed up. And guys, this is advice that almost nobody can give you. Your friends can't give you this advice. Your family can't give you this advice. Your parents can't give you this advice. Your teachers can't give you this advice. Your best homeboys, a lot of the time, can't even give you this fucking advice. Because 90% of the world is trapped in a... 99% of the fucking world is trapped into thought patterns that are placed on them. 99% of the world is a product of their environment and they are bought into a way of living that is not how the way the world works. I actually care about this stuff, guys. Because I don't want anybody to have to go through what I went through. If I didn't care about this stuff, I would have still been working my desk job. I would have still been in finance. And I would have been on the weekends trying to chase a fucking little white golf ball around the fucking course. If I didn't care about this stuff, I would have been doing that. If all I cared about was fucking the money and selling you guys a bullshit dream, I would have been fucking, I would have been doing something that allowed me to make more money if I didn't give a fuck about this stuff. But I'm not the type of person that can turn my head to this stuff. I've been through so much stuff that I can't turn my head. This is my fucking purpose. This is my passion. This is my fucking calling. So what the fuck do I look like trying to chase a fucking golf ball around, trying to find a little white fucking golf ball when there's young men out here that need to be found? When there's young men out here that have no sense of fucking purpose and are living in a fucking illusion and are just drifting through life? And that used to be me. If I didn't care about this stuff, guys, why would I have left my job? Why would I have gone broke? Why would I have cut everybody off and gone lonely? Why would I have accepted that loneliness? Why would I have started this YouTube channel? 
I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks now. Why would I have why would I have accepted the hate and being labeled as crazy? People think I'm crazy. People think my 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 thoughts are radical. Why would I have gone through that if I didn't care about this stuff? Why would I have sacrificed everything to be able to do this? This is all the stuff you guys are going to go through on your self-improvement journey as a man. Because if you can't recognize the world for how it is and not how you were taught it is, then you will never be able to improve yourself. And that means you're going to have ideas that people think are radical. You're going to have ideas that are going to have people labeling you as crazy. And you're going to have ideas that people can't accept because it attacks their own ego and their own insecurities. And those people are going to be the ones hating. So you're going to have to deal with that hate. Do you really want it, guys? Do you really want to improve yourself? Because if you do, this is all the stuff you're going to have to deal with. You're going to have to deal with your friends cutting you off or you cutting them off. You're going to have to deal with you being at differences, with at, at odds with your family members, with your parents. Nobody in your life. Because like I said, 99% of people are disillusioned. 99% of fucking people are disillusioned. And once you start to figure this stuff out, you're going to feel like you're fucking going crazy. Because that's the label other people are going to put on you. Guys, you're going to have to cut those people out. You're going to have to drown out the hate and the envy that those people project on you when you cut them out of your life. You're going to have to be lonely. As a man, you're going to have to be lonely. And you're going to have to hold yourself up as a man. Nobody else is going to do it for you. You got to hold your own self up. And you got to learn how to find validation and self-worth from within. Not from anything or anybody else. You got to find it from within. As a man. And you're going to have to battle with your own mental health because nobody else is there for you. And you're going to have to question your own sanity. You're going to have to rise above all that. And then, once you do that, this is where the funny part is. Then you got to deal with those people trying to crawl back in your life. The people who hated and the people who envied you, the people who shit on you, the people who were toxic relationships in your life, and the people who never tried to fucking help you are going to be the same motherfucking people crawling back into your life when you overcome what is at stake for you, when you overcome the issues, and when you improve yourself. But you can't let them back in now. You can't let them back in now. I don't give a fuck how lonely, how long you've been lonely. You can't let those people back in now. And you might get to thinking, oh, well, maybe it was me. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. You drew the line. Stick to it. You drew that boundary as a man. Stick to that boundary. Stick to your fucking word. That's what got you here. That's what self-improved you in the first place. You can't go now and say, oh, I'm gonna let the I'm gonna forgive these people. Fuck them. Fuck them. And then once you draw that line completely. Then you're going to have to deal with the hate again coming from them because now they're personally attacking you because you didn't let them back in. And now they're saying you blew up and you're, you're narcissistic. You self-improved yourself. You're narcissistic. 
now you got the body, you think you're all that. And they're going to call you narcissistic, they're going to call you an asshole. That just goes to show you what type of people these people are. You guys are going to have to learn to embrace the world for what you discovered it is and not what you were taught it is. Because they're two completely separate things and some people don't want to recognize it. Some people subdue those thoughts in their mind. I'm sure all of us can observe the world for how it actually is. But these thoughts go so deep and these limiting beliefs and these things that we're taught go so deep within our conscious that we just subdue the thoughts of how we recognize the world actually is. And you guys are going to have to play the game in order to succeed. You can't just be the nice guy anymore. You can't just do the same thing as everybody else. You can't just work the same job. You can't just get a nine to five. You can't just get married. You can't just be a nice and respected guy. You got to play the fucking game because that's what everybody else is doing. You can't just be yourself as currently constructed. You got to improve yourself. And you got to accept that where you are right now is not good enough. That's a tough pill to fucking swallow. Because it requires you to drop your ego. You guys are going to have to learn to be assertive. You're going to have to learn to be an asshole. You're going to have to deal with failure. You're going to have to deal with rejection. And you're going to have to deal with loneliness on the road to self-improvement. And this is advice that almost nobody can give you. Because most people are caught in the matrix. And most people, what I mean by that, most people are just a product of their environment. We're taught these things and we're taught these thought patterns and these morals and values that hold no weight, that don't do us any good, that actually hold us down. But we believe these things because we are taught this is the way the world should be. Keyword should. But that's not how it works. That's why nobody can give you this advice. That's why you come on YouTube looking for this stuff because your friends can't tell you this, your parents can't tell you this, your teachers can't tell you this. Maybe one person in your life can tell you it. Maybe if you're lucky. For me, I didn't have anybody. I didn't have anybody to tell me this. That's why I came looking on YouTube And I'm not just saying to follow advice from some guy on YouTube, but what I am saying is to think critically about what you are taught. Because a lot of you are discovering the way the world works. You're discovering these things, but you're subduing these thoughts because what you're taught is not in alignment with what you have discovered. And once you start to accept the world for the way it really is, it's not always an easy process. It's not always an easy process to self-improvement. It's not always an easy process to develop yourself as a man. That's the topic for the video today, guys. 
leave a comment what you thought. You know, if you think I'm crazy, leave that in the comments because the hate motivates me. If you relate to this video, leave that in the comments as well. Like this video, subscribe to the channel.